Andrea, tell me a little bit about the physics of a wine glass and what people do when they, when they pick one up before they drink the wine. So the idea when, when you have uh, a wine, one, one thing that usually you see doing in a restaurant is this type, this type of movement. And, and the idea why we are doing this is to oxygenate the wine. So you want to make sure that enough oxygen, you have enough surface there for the oxygen to transfer into the wine and to be brought inside, inside your wine so then it will taste better. What's going on in the glass is that we need oxygen from the air to get into the liquid and so you need to help it along by swirling. To get inside and to be drawn inside by the, the movement, the, the, the fluid mechanics that you create the moment you start shake, shaking your, your glass of wine. So one uh, simple way to, to look into that would be to do some sort of dye visualization and happen we have some dye here. So what we can do you can pick some of this blue dye, make a small drop there. It's really pretty, isn't it? <laughs> and then we start shaking, and the idea is, okay, this is water, it will diffuse very fast, it will mix very fast, but the idea is really to look what does it happen inside and the type of flow structure that we have inside, which will determine this, this mixing inside 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 the glass yeah and therefore like your better oxygenation in for your glass of wine and the dye is it's not just spreading out into the glass it's it's swirling around as a structure as the as the blue dye mixes into the water exactly so what you can think which we just did in this in this glass of wine we had two fluids which are miscible and so one was the blob of blue dye and the other one was the transparent water and to Increase the mixing. You want to make sure that the surface of contact of these two blue, of these two two fluids, it's larger as possible, so that then they can diffuse into each other. And this is basically what mixing does. It's like you create a stirring action, you create some flow movement inside, so that you start deforming this this blob of dye, and then the moment you deform it, you you create a striation, and then you increase the surface of contact between the two fluids, and you have diffusion. So that's what's happening inside wine glass, that, that the swirling is helping you mix these two things together. But the same principle is also used in your research, so tell me about that. Yeah, so what we'll be studying here at, in the mixing lab at, at UCL, uh, we'll be looking at chicken system. And for example, here we have a 24 wells uh, reactor. So chicken system basically is the same movement that we've seen for the glass. We have this, this type of movement. Here the biologists, what they do, they have you have different reactors. Each one of these squares is basically it's, it's, it's a different reactor. So these are cell cultures. You're trying to grow yeah. living cells. Living cells. And you have different, let's say, combination of, of uh, re reactants or cells or whatever. And, and the moment you start shaking, you try to identify which one is the combination which works the best because that is the one that you might want to study. And so what we've been doing in the lab is to study this type of shaken reactor and you have some example on, on the screen where there are larger insides. So we're talking about cylinder, which are uh, this large, 10 centimeter diameter. And the real piece of engineering here is that you want to scale this up. We all think of biologists growing tiny little cells in little Petri dishes. But actually, if you want this to be useful industrially, this has to happen on a huge scale. So you have to be able to mix on a huge scale as well. That's basically the idea of the research, really, is for example, in this case, to look at shaken system, but we can have also different type of bioreactors, of course, steward tank reactors when you use like uh, impellers or wave tank reactors where you have different type of movement, which but again, the idea of you have a movement which create a flow and the flow, as I said before, is, is a mechanism that improve this deformation of, of, of whatever reactants you have inside there and, and uh, improve the process really, make it faster.